Cardiologists are staying in a particular location doesn't mean everybody there is having heart problems. You got the point? Renowned musicians living in the town does not necessarily mean they are living there because of the people being interested. It could be because of the jazz festival that is conducted there every year. Finally, the radio program, the highest rated program we have said is Jazz Nightly. Now, if this is a fact that all the programs that are being you know, played, and the highest rated is Jazz, then it does convince us somewhat that the people of Monroe are interested in Jazz music. But if very few people are listening to radio programs on weeknights, the highest rating does not necessarily constitute a lot of people listening to Jazz music. So we need to know how many people really watch TV and how many people listen to radio programs on weeknights. Finally, though jazz enthusiasts spend a thousand dollars on jazz music, unless we have evidence as to how much of that thousand dollars they're going to spend on jazz clubs, one cannot be convinced that a lot of this money will be spent on, on listening to jazz entertainment in jazz clubs. Therefore, unless this evidence is given to us, one cannot be certain whether the jazz club is going to make profits and thereby the application for the, the loan may not necessarily be sanctioned unless the application provides all the information required. You got that? Same thing, assumptions we have taken but we have said we need evidence to prove that assumption to be a fact. If that assumption is proved to be true, it could be very well the argument is logical. If the evidence proves otherwise, the argument might very well turn out to be illogical. So again, we are structuring our writing based on, based on the instruction. The basic format still remains like this. The basic groundwork still remains the same. Where is the claim? What are the premises? What are the assumptions? Once you do that groundwork, then you can structure your essay based on the instructions given. The bottom line is there. Introduction also remains almost the same. Only you to extract the assumption becomes the foundation for any form of writing on the analysis of an argument. So as soon as the topic comes on the screen, read the topic carefully. Use your scratch paper and do your basic analysis. Once you have done your analysis, read the direction that has been given as to how you are supposed to write the essay. Based on the direction, using this basic framework that I have given you, construct and write your essays using the instructions as the basis for your writing. Don't write all essays in the same way. Frame your essays based on the instruction and make it more individual. Are we clear about this? So will you be able to write these essays if you get them? So what I want you to do is, I want you to take up 10 topics. First thing is, do the analysis of all the 10 topics. Where is the claim? Where is the premises? And where are the assumptions? Once you have done this, then you read the instruction and Mentally, you prepare yourself how you would frame and write your essay and write at least about five or six topics to give yourself that confidence that you can write. Once you do this in what I would call as without timing yourself, the second stage is to time yourself. The second stage is you read the topic, analyze it. Give yourself 20 minutes and write the essay. The third is write directly on the computer, right? Because you are not going to write it on a scratch paper, then you are not going to write it on the computer. As you are thinking, you are going to be writing the essays. So you need to practice directly on the computer, frame your thoughts and type. And count and see how much you are capable of writing within the time period. Suppose. On an average, you're capable of writing 250 words. On the day of the test, don't overstretch yourself. Don't try to write 300 words. It won't work. Write within your comfort zone. You know you can write so much. Limit yourself to that. 
write only so much. It's not the quantity of what you're writing. It's the quality of writing that fetches you your scores. It's all about how clear is your analysis, how precise are you in converting the directions and writing your essays according to the instructions given.